Dear friends, we're gathered here again to join Reno and Sarah in marriage. Who would have thought four months ago it happened? Um, they didn't even know each other. Sarah was about a year in to Seattle Union Gospel Mission at Ken Hope, and Reno was case manager, supervisor, and enhanced shelter. Didn't even know each other. And here they are four months later. By the way, somehow this just feels like a all staff or something. <laughs> 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 but God in his providence and wisdom and grace and mercy has brought them together to share their lives together. Can you see Mark? The scripture I've chosen for today is Colossians 3, 12 and 17, and it says this. Holy endure each other in love. Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other, and forgive whatever grievances you have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you, and over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them together in perfect unity. So you're ready. All of the planning, and all of the running around, and all the emails, and all the invitations are finally over, and you get to enjoy this day. People have come all the way from Florida and Georgia, and Puyallup, and <laughs> <laughs> Lake Bay, Fury and Tacoma, uh, you know, people from all over have come to share this day with you. I chose this passage of scripture because I think it sums up how we are to treat one another as followers of Christ, and especially when it comes to marriage. So let me share three words. Sarah said I could go 60 minutes. <laughs> I'll share three words. From, from this past. And the first word is clothe. By the way, you guys look great today. Uh, Sarah, okay. I know you had some help from your friends choosing your wedding gown, and you look stunning. And we know you look great. Typically, I would say you look good for the way you look. <laughs> <laughs> and as you chose these clothes to put on, you did it with some thought, right? You thought about what you want to wear. We know you had some help from your friends of picking out a suit, so you had some time to think about what you were going to wear today. You got to choose. And the Apostle Paul says that we are to clothe ourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. All great qualities, right? And the great thing is we have the option to choose these qualities each and every day. We can wake up in the morning and say, okay, work, I choose to clothe myself with these attributes today. Compassion rather than callousness. Kindness rather than indifference. Humility rather than pride. Gentleness rather than harshness. And patience rather than impatience. In the morning, and put your clothes on, remember also to clothe yourselves with these attributes that the Apostle Paul is talking about. The second word is the word forgive. Bear with one another and forgive one another. How? As the Lord forgave you. So, what is the Lord forgiving you of? Everything. As far as the east is from the west, so far we removed our transgressions from us. But the reality is, forgiveness is hard. We keep track sometimes of the hurts and the things that people say and the things that people do or don't do. It's hard to forgive. Lewis Reed said, to forgive is to set a prisoner free and discover that the prisoner is you. So practice forgiveness. The Apostle Paul says, don't let the sun go down in your anger. So, for you two, don't go to that anger. Make sure that you work things out. Forgive one another. What is love? Paul says, and over all these virtues put on love, which binds them together in perfect unity. My guess is that you two are standing here today because you love each other. Am I right? Yes. I, somehow I've heard the word Sarah around the mission more times than I can count in the last couple of weeks. And my guess is that the word Reno has made its way around Kent Hope and Hope Place more than a few times. Is that right, Lisa? Has that happened more than a few times? Yeah, I, I, I would say so. We like the word love. It's romantic. It makes us feel all warm inside, or as the rabbit said in Bambi, we get all twitterated. That's the one that we're in love. But how did Jesus demonstrate love? Ephesians 5, 1 and 2 says, Be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly loved children, 
and live a life of love just as Christ loved us and gave himself for us all. So how did Christ love? He gave himself even to the point of death. You see, the ultimate demonstration of love is to give ourselves away, first to the Lord and then to each other, looking out for the other interests, each other's interests, rather than our own, and to serve one another in love. You know, and Sarah, I, I know you love each other. My, my challenge to you is to demonstrate that love each and every day by giving yourself away, first to God and then to each other. Marriage is wonderful, and it's also challenging. But if you do these three things, if you clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, if you can forgive one another as the Lord forgave you, and if you can love one another by giving yourself away, your marriage will be a blessing, not only to you, but to others, and even to God. Let's pray together, shall we? Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this couple. God, thank you for the work of transformation that you've done in each of them to bring them to this day. Thank you that, you, that they love one another. God, we pray that their marriage would be a blessing, but also would glorify your name. For it's in your name. Amen. 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 At this point, we're going to exchange some vows. Right? So, Reno, would you repeat after me? I Reno take you Sarah. I Reno take you To be my wife. And I do promise in covenant before God and his witnesses to be your loving and faithful husband. In faithful and in want, in joy and sorrow, in sickness and in health. As long as we live. I Sarah take you, Reno, to be your loving wife. And I do promise and covenant before God and his witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we live. Gotta love it. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. He had one job to do. <laughs> Whose job was it? What? Whose job was it? <laughs> Campbell. 